This is a story about how I lost a year of my life. Now, don't get me wrong, I, did not like I forgot an entire year of my life, like I, this year, 2017, was probably the most creative year I ever had, but I completely forgot this entire year that I was 33 years old. I actually honestly thought that I was 34. Um, I, I bought an Xbox one, by the way, kind of give myself for, you know for my birthday. So, with that in mind, uh, let me talk about what it was like being 33 and not knowing it. <laughs> what made me realize that I was 33 and not turning, or turning 34, not turning 35, it's kind of a funny story. I was, I was at work and I was putting together a video for Thriller's 35th anniversary, because it's the 35th year that Michael Jackson released Thriller. I was working on this project when I realized that Thriller came out in November 30th, 1982. I was like, wait, that's not 35 years. That's 36 because I'm turning 35. But in reality, I actually like had to do the math and it was 35. This is not the first time that this actually has happened to me before. A couple years ago, I probably want to say maybe close to 10, I actually had convinced my mom that I was not the same age that she thought I was. She called me up on my birthday to wish me a very happy birthday. And she said, happy such and such birthday. And I was like, mom, you kind of got it wrong. I am this age. I was a year older. I'm a year older, not a year younger. And I like, was on the phone for her for about five minutes while she tried to convince me and I tried to convince her of what age I w really was. So... I, this seems to be a recurring pattern. I just can never seem to remember my own age. Got a haircut and uh, went to uh, pick up Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or otherwise known as PUBG. Uh, didn't realize there actually is no disc for this. It's just a download card inside. If I would have known that, I would have just probably, you know, downloaded the whole thing. Uh, I wanted to re actually, re even though I completely forgot that I was turning 34 this year, and I convinced my mom years ago that I actually was turning a different age. I did want to reflect on 2017 as a whole, because 2017, this year, was probably one of the best years of my professional uh, online career. Uh, I, not only just in my day job, but just in Blind Gamer, I have sort of kind of leaped into different areas that I never would have thought possible with this channel. And so, I wanted to, like, I got to speak at an Ubisoft conference. I got to speak at a, an, an, Ontario, an interactive Ontario conference. I got to speak at the YouTube space. I got to film a lot of videos at the YouTube space. I got uh, a feature story on me from the CBC. And I'm also in the process of actually looking into being a consultant for video game developers uh, for their, to develop something with low, for low vision uh, players within their games. So, 
even though I completely forgot that this year existed for me in regards to my 33rd year, 33 was a very good year for me, and I can't wait to see what happens in my 34th year. And I promise, I'm gonna remember that I turned 34. <laughs> Steve Saylor writes into kindoffunny.com slash KFGD. He needs help on Xbox. His username, Blind Gamer Steve, all spelled the way to expect. Hello, Greg and Tim. Listening since episode one and love what you do. I'm hungry and in need of best friends to join me in my quest for that chicken dinner. It was my birthday on Wednesday and I received an Xbox One S along with PUBG. I am a legally blind gamer and suck at video games. I laugh at myself at how bad I am when I get killed 50 times, but yell glorious victory when I get that one kill in. <laughs> it's a win-win scenario. If I win, that's pretty good for a blind guy. If I lose, it's still pretty good for a blind guy. Hell yeah, dude. Look no further than my YouTube channel for proof of this fact. My Xbox Gamer tag is Blind Gamer Steve. Oh, Looking Steve. forward to playing with all of you, and I hope I don't drag our squad down too much. Thanks, kind of funny crew, for the amazing content. Happy holidays, best friend and Patreon supporter Steve Saylor. Uh, oh, his man. his uh, username once again, Blind Gamer Steve. My dude, I like that one. My quite man. A bit. My man. My man. I'm so, I'm so.